If you're looking to get back with your ex, then you probably wonder if flirting with them is a good idea or a huge mistake. Well, the truth is that flirting with your ex should definitely be a part of your strategy, but you need to pay attention to when and how you flirt with them if you're going to have success. So in this video, I'll outline the rules that you need to follow when flirting with your ex if you do want them back. I'm Brad Browning, author of the X Factor program and breakup coach to thousands of people around the globe, including you if you subscribe to my channel right now. And I'm here to demystify your breakup and tell you what's going on in your ex's head. But above all else, I'm here to give you some simple strategies to start winning back your ex today. So I've said that you should flirt with your ex, but that comes with an asterisk. So before you start firing off, you know, winky emojis and ending every message with dot, 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 here are the rules that you need to follow when flirting with your ex. Rule number one, keep your intention in mind. Now flirting with your ex isn't quite as simple as you'd like it to be. As with any interaction with your ex, it's tricky because of your baggage and your past together. And if you want them back, then it's even more complicated. So only flirt with your ex if you know your intention, your goal. And your goal shouldn't be to make yourself feel better about the breakup or to get validation from your ex. Flirting needs to be part of a larger strategy to rebuild the connection that you once had. Now this doesn't have to be something that you're constantly focusing on, but if you feel like you're losing the thread or you don't know what to say next, return to your intention and let that guide you. Maybe that'll mean, you know, dropping an inside joke or a reference. Maybe it'll mean pulling back a bit and taking a break to build some more anticipation. Rule number two is to keep it light and fun. So in almost any interaction with an ex, you need to avoid being too serious and coming across as clingy. And this definitely goes for flirting as well. Remember that you're trying to build a new fun relationship with your ex. So now is definitely not the time to get into heavy topics like the breakup, your feelings, or whether they're not they're seeing somebody new. So try to treat them the way you would with someone you just met. You know, be funny, be interesting, and a little aloof. The good news is that you have an advantage over a stranger because you can leverage all the knowledge that you have about your ex, like what they like and what turns them on. Rule number three is to not let them use you. You know, it feels great to flirt with your ex, but you also need to be aware of their intentions. And what I mean by that is that your ex may flirt with you just for validation, not to show real interest. Unfortunately, I've seen it happen again and again. So really, just be aware. You know, if they're establishing a pattern where they just hit you up late at night, send a few suggestive messages, and then disappear for weeks after they've gotten what they wanted, then you'll know that this is the case for you. And in this kind of scenario, I'd advise you to keep your ex at arm's length to avoid being manipulated or treated as a backup plan. Don't be afraid to leave them on red or change the subject if they're clearly just fishing for compliments. Now, if you are wondering what your ex's intentions are, consider taking my free quiz over at breakupbrad.com quiz. It's quick, easy, and free, and it'll give you a clear answer to the question, what chance do I have with my ex? Again, you can take it for free at breakupbrad.com slash quiz. Now let's move on to rule number four, which is to build mutual attraction. Now flirting is the process of revealing and cultivating attraction between you and another person. So, you know, don't just go right into the sexy stuff and try to get them straight into bed. Take it slow and build attraction between the two of you. And this means that if he or she is saying nice things about you, then say nice things back. And if things are starting to feel one-sided, then pull back a bit and have a more normal conversation. Really, you can't force flirting. You can only coax it along and hope that the other person responds to it positively. Rule number five is to get out of your head. Now, I know this video is all about analyzing your ex's thoughts and emotions, but at the end of the day, you need to put all of that aside and try to live in the moment with your ex. Flirting can feel forced if the other person can tell that you're super invested in it. So remember that this is just one interaction out of thousands you've had with this person. And while it may feel like the end of the world if it doesn't go perfectly, the truth is that they know you, they care about you, and they're not gonna suddenly hate your guts if you say something embarrassing while trying to flirt with them. Rule number six is don't flirt too much. Now, flirting is very important, but it also works best in moderation. You know, I think we all know people that we were excited to flirt with at first, but we quickly realized that that was their entire personality. And now when they say something a little naughty, it doesn't really have the same impact. And this is why you should be a little bit sparing when it comes to flirting. So don't let flirting be your only move. You know, tell jokes, be silly, be serious when you need to, and don't be afraid, afraid to have you know, a real conversation here and there. Rule number seven, you shouldn't flirt with your ex too early. So if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I advocate for a period of no contact. And this means don't contact your ex for roughly a month following the breakup. Obviously, it's a difficult step to take, but it's gonna be necessary, especially if you plan on using flirting as your part of your strategy. And this is because no contact allows your ex time and space to process the breakup. If your ex never has a chance to process the breakup, then they're gonna be very confused if you start flirting with them like nothing else has changed or nothing's happened. 
And no contact will also make them miss you like crazy, which creates sexual tension, which naturally fuels flirting. So just don't skip no contact and expect all the strategies that I've talked about here to work on your ex. And if you want to know more, check out my channel or the video description for more videos about no contact that I've made in the past. Now before we end, let's quickly review. Keep your intentions in mind, keep it light and fun, don't let your ex use you, build mutual attraction, get out of your own head, don't overdo it, and wait until you've completed a period of no contact before you start flirting. If you can follow these simple rules, you'll find that flirting with your ex is an excellent tool to help win them back. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in my next video and I will talk to you in the comments below. Bye for now.